this old project video of ours provides a little bit of false hope. I wanna to talk to the maker who loves this video, who has really enjoyed all of the make money woodworking content, but you've struggled to get enough sales. We believe in our core that every maker can make $100,000 in a year by selling. We were so blessed to have a random video go so viral on our channel, but I am so upset about which video <laughs> it was. Well, that's the nature of social media. It you don't really get to is. choose. As of this recording, the number one video on our channel is this video. At the time, we were tired. I mean, we were working over 80 hours a week in the military. But we really wanted and needed to get this video out. Because we had sold a couple of each item in the video, we thought this would be a good topic. So let's watch a little bit of the video, hit the highlights, and see what we were talking about. Pick it up, ready? No. You're ruining this intro, just saying. Today we're gonna to talk about five projects that we've learned so really well for us. So we got a question the other day on Instagram. Go follow us on Instagram if you haven't already, but we got a question of somebody asking, Oh my gosh, get to the point. Do you make this? <laughs> and hopefully that'll spark an idea for you. Maybe you can use these as your go-to or it gives you the confidence to get off the ground with your business. Two minutes, took us two minutes to start listing these off. Okay, so number one on our list of super common projects is a desk. Desks were probably the thing that we had sold the most of at that point. Yeah, so a little bit of backstory on that. A lot of our friends at the time were in the military because we were in the military and some of them were going back to school to get different sorts of degrees or they were taking certain classes and they really wanted a nice desk to look good with the rest of their decor in their new home. So that we was- We sold a lot of desks. We sold a lot of desks. Okay, number two piece of furniture that we do constantly is coffee tables. Everybody loves coffee tables. Most of what we see is oh, somebody's trying to- Oh, this one was so pretty. Yeah, we sold a lot of coffee tables too. That was probably the number two thing that we built the most of. Yep, we'd make them out of slabs, we'd make them out of cookies, we made one that was like an American flag, we made one with six legs, tons of coffee tables. All right, next up on the list are cutting boards. You've seen us make a bunch of cutting boards on this channel, and that's just because they sell really well. And then cutting boards, obviously. We never stop making those. <laughs> yeah. um, plenty of demand, the market is not saturated. People have always wanted cutting boards from us. Oh my gosh. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is kitchen tables. This one. <laughs> We had a lot of fun filming this video. I forgot. We really did. This this was a fun. We were so exhausted. You know when you're so tired, you get to the point where like everything's funny and you're just like you're getting all weird. That was this video for us. We really wanted to get a video out, but we were so exhausted. It's kind of funny. This kitchen table that I was crawling on. Uh, we did a, we did a silent auction when we left North Dakota. We did a silent auction on all the furniture in our house. We just put pieces of paper on everything, and uh, we made quite a bit of money because all yeah. of our friends wanted the furniture that we were using too. So that's a great money-making tip if you if you want one. Blanket ladders, this one was an audible. We hadn't sold a ton of these, but we knew they were selling for a lot of other people and we needed to get to five and we only had four ideas. Again, yeah, we were yeah. pressed for time. But blanket ladders were kind of like a staple for the farmhouse vibe, which yeah, they was were. so big a few years back. And so that's why we included that one. I don't know, this is a good trip down memory lane. I hadn't watched this video in a while, yeah. but over the years of watching this video do really well for us and watching other people do their version of the video and mm -hmm. it doing really well for them was super encouraging. But after a while, we started to realize that for a specific type of person, this video was actually doing more harm than good. And that's why we really don't like this video anymore. Obviously, it's not a bad video. It's helped a lot of people and encouraged them to make the first $10,000. But when we first made this video, we had only sold about $10,000 worth of stuff, mm -hmm. which is no small chunk of change. But as we started to make more and more money, we realized that it was very misleading. When we made this video, we really didn't know what we were doing. We were sort of making money on accident. And that's the good news. To make your first $10,000, you really only need a crazy idea and a lot of encouragement. You get those two things right, you can make $10,000. It doesn't matter what you sell, which is why videos like this do really well because yeah. any idea will work to make you $10,000 if you're encouraged enough to try. And that's what we're showing everyone now on our YouTube channel. After turning our little garage hobby into a half a million dollars worth of business, now we're making free content on YouTube to help you make your way to your first 10K. 
And we've built the stud stack as a way to help you get there faster with videos, resources, and a community to help encourage you to your first $100,000 and beyond. But once we started making more money than we originally had when we first made this video, we realized it was actually hurting some people who wanted to make more. Once you start to make more money, maybe you wanna quit your day job or pursue business on a higher scale. The information in this video provides a little bit of false hope. See, once you make about $30,000, you start to get bored and confused. If you're anything like us, you're probably a pretty creative person and you've probably sold a few things here and there, but no one thing has taken off and turned into your big seller. But that's what everybody is looking for. They're looking for the magic project that's going to sell itself automatically with no effort. So you go to YouTube to see what's working for other people. What's, what are other people's big sellers? And you get a lot of really good ideas. So you decide to pivot to something else that you think will sell better. So then you sell a few of those, then sales start to slow down a bit. Then you come away from that thinking that the market's saturated and that you missed your chance. And that's why we hate this video for people that have made more than $10,000 selling their stuff. The market is not too saturated. And you did not miss your chance. The truth is virtually any project will make you $100,000. We believe in our core that every maker can make $100,000 in a year by selling any project with the crazy idea, a little bit of encouragement and some hard work. To go from 10,000 to 100,000, really the only difference is some hard work. You don't need a new idea, you don't need a new project, you don't need new tools, and you don't really need all that many new skills. You just need to double and triple down on what works. And we see a lot of people fall into the trap of these videos and they think that if they just pivot and switch to a brand new product, it'll automatically start selling better. And that's absolutely false. If you have sold something once, you can sell it a thousand times. So today I'd like to give you the chance to take the next step. I wanna to talk to the maker who loves this video, who has really enjoyed all of the make money woodworking content, but you've struggled to get enough sales. If you're trying to make money and you're looking for that magic perfect project that's gonna just sell itself on Etsy, I wanna get you to think about what problem you wanna solve. Don't worry about what project you make. I just want you to focus on what problem you want to help people solve with your business. The, the project comes later, we'll figure that out in a minute. But if you've made $10,000, you have helped a lot of people along the way. So take a look, I, I pull out a sheet of paper, I, I'll wait, get a piece of paper, and I want you to write down some things that have made you money that you've enjoyed making. I'll wait. Okay, now that you've got your list of projects that you've enjoyed making, I want you to write next to the project, what problem did it solve for the customer? Yes, I know that they enjoyed the quality, I know that they wanted to support you as a small business owner, uh, but what problem did that project solve for someone? So let's run through some examples to get your creativity flowing. Did you help new moms decorate their nursery with signs and decor? Did you help restaurants wow their guests with fancy serving platters? Did you help interior designers create beautiful spaces for families by building really large custom furniture pieces? Did you give tabletop gamers a really beautiful and functional space to play their games on with a really nice table? Whatever it was that you've sold in the past, whether you know it or not, you helped someone solve a problem that they had with your project. So we wanna think first about the problem our business solves, and then we can figure out what products we're gonna to offer to do that. Taking a look at your list now, there should be one that stands out to you that you really enjoyed making, that you really uh, saw the customer's eyes light up when you delivered it to them and you know that it solved a genuine problem that they had. That's the one that's gonna be a million dollar winner for you. I promise you it can be. To, to go up a level, you have to pick a staircase. You can't always just build whatever the customer wants. You can't stack enough success to get to the next level based on randomness. As a legitimate business now, you need to solve a problem for a lot of people at a profitable, fair price. Solving that one problem with your projects will become your entire business. Sure, you can definitely add more products later, but if you're struggling to make money and get more sales, it's probably because you haven't settled into one project that consistently makes you money. We did this a while ago. I'll give you our example. So our business is called Samara Table Company. We want to sell tables long-term, but the problem that we solve for our customer is we want people to spend more quality time with their friends and their family. 
and I will sell whatever I need to build in order to solve that problem. And right now that looks like cutting boards and charcuterie boards because that's how I can help the most people. With our small little shop, with just us, and maybe one or two employees, the best way we can serve the most amount of people at a profitable price is with small cutting and charcuterie boards that people use when they host events. Eventually, when we get enough money to solve that problem with a $8,000 kitchen table, then we'll start selling those. But for now, we're just doing what we need to to build our business big enough to tackle the next project. We need to become experts at solving a problem really well with one set product and then take that product to as many people as we can. Then we can stockpile cash, plan for the next product release, and then stack our business on top of different products. But until we make enough money, we just gotta stick with one thing. This old project video of ours has five ideas that you could build an entire business around. When I watch this video now, I don't see a blanket ladder. I see an opportunity for a farmhouse decor business that happens to sell blanket ladders. I don't see a ton of demand for single one-off kitchen tables. I see an opportunity for a home staging manufacturer to help people make a beautiful kitchen area that'll help sell their home faster. And I don't see yet another cutting board Etsy listing. I see a restaurant supply company that provides high-end cutting boards to chefs around the country. So I hope we've given you the secret to unlock the next level. If you've made $10,000 and you wanna make more, you wanna be a serious business owner, we need to solve a problem, not sell a product. You can sell any product to make $10,000, but if you wanna to go to the next level, we've gotta put in some hard work mm. on just one or two things that actually solve a problem for somebody. So hopefully now you can look at this old video of ours that was really popular and, and see it in a little bit of a different light. Hopefully you can watch it and figure out how you could develop a really successful business solving a problem with one of these five project ideas. If you love this video, if you love the old video and you love this video, you are going to love the four videos a week that we post in the stud stack. Mm -hmm. So jump in there, it's cheaper than dog food and we'll share with you every lesson we can think of to help you grow your business faster. We've got a community that will encourage you and we'll give you resources to help boost your business and get to where you wanna be faster. Up next, if it's been a while, we'll show you that super popular video of ours. Hope you enjoy watching and we will catch you on the next one. Stick to the